Hello friends. So here we go with the projection of isometric projection. Okay. So where we have problem number one, where we have a simple constructions. Okay. So where a sphere of diameter 50 rest centrally on a top of a cube. Okay. A cube is a one where uh, it will be having a six square faces. So draw the isometric projection of the combination. See uh, the cube. It looks like this. Okay. So whenever you see from a 30 degree that is 30 degree inclined to the line so you can see the base okay so three corners and one more top base okay so above this one so we have a spear a spear uh, you look from anywhere it looks like a circle only of a uh, diam actual diameter but the radius will get reduced to the uh, iso radius so mm -hmm. we have a 50 mm cube and the diameter of the spear is also 50 okay so what we said so we'll have one horizontal line okay so just a horizontal uh, line very thin line so we'll take any one the corner okay so we have taken here all right so from here so a cube you will be having a, a square of 50 base so from here 1 2 3 4 so 5 okay so take a 90 degree turn 1 2 3 4 5 again 1 2 3 4 5 so again 1 2 3 4 5 we'll come back to our original place okay so just have a thin line here so 5 5 5 and 5 okay so now the height of the uh, cube is also a 50 mm so now from each corner five boxes so one two three four five okay so one two three four five it will come to the corner so one two three four five okay so here one two three four five means uh, from each corner you have to take a uh, five boxes that is a uh, height so now just join here The thin lines okay so now if you see each uh, end of the lines uh, again you will get a one square okay so this is how exactly a cube looks so now the cube uh, spear is placed centrally so center location is either you can drop a diagonal or from the corner you just move half of the edge so one two and two and off okay or else you can just drop a, a diagonal also okay so wherever they intersect that is the uh, center point of the cube okay so either either way you can do just to avoid the lines you can just move half of the edge length from the corner so one two two and half okay so from here the center of the sphere that is uh, it's a diameter is a 50 so 50 divided by 2 so it will be 25 mm so here from the center you just take a radius that is 5 1 2 so it will come to the end point that is 25 25 means a 2.5 boxes so half here 1 and a 2 okay so the center will come here so now once the center is done so take the actual length from the scale that is a 25 mm take the actual length from the scale that is 25 mm take this as a center okay just drop a, a circle okay so like this okay okay see uh, from the center okay take a 25 mm that is from the actual scale just drop a, a circle okay so this circle should be dark now what are the things which are visible now here is so these lens from here to here okay so this outline here to here okay so this line is visible so this line is visible okay so this line is visible till the intersection of the 
circle and this line is also visible in the intersection of the arc okay so now this whole circle is visible so now you just have a center line from the center of the circle to the center of the cube okay so this is what is so we have taken its iso 25 okay so this is how exactly a sphere can be done okay so whatever may be the bottom one you take the center from the center take the radius okay radius of a sphere and then take the radius with the actual scale actual scale then drop the circle with the same center okay so this is the problem number one where a sphere is placed above the cube okay so thank you